Punahou's creation of the Student Global Leadership Institute was really inspired by a question that the Edward E. Ford Foundation asked us, and that was, what's Punahou's next big idea? So this past summer, we gathered 28 students from eight schools. Our partner schools in America were Phillips Exeter Academy from New Hampshire, Sidwell Friends School, Washington, D.C., the Carey Academy from North Carolina, as well as ourselves. And our four Chinese partners were high schools attached to Renmin University, Renda, the high school attached to Beijing Normal University, attached school number two, and the high school attached to Fudan University in Shanghai, as well as Weiwen High School. So those eight schools developed a partnership, and the intent in getting them together was to develop a cohort group that we hope as the Student Global Leadership Institute begins to blossom and mature would become resources, that they would come back and be faculty, and that they would begin to stay as a cohort group and develop friendships that would last a lifetime. The Student Global Leadership Institute is a place to bring people from different cultures together, to learn how to work with each other, to learn how to collaborate, and then to take what they learn back to their home communities to learn to lead effectively there. When you take, this, take part in this program, it's, it's really an unforgettable experience. This institute has given us a a uh, very wonderful opportunity to come together and to talk about some global issues. It's important to bring students together from other countries because you get to truly see the difference in culture and perspective. The world is changing so rapidly and some of the challenges we're looking at are no longer specific to a country. And I think in order to solve problems without borders, we must be able to effectively work with people from all over the country and all over the world. This year we talk about water. The thing about water is that it's a problem that has so many different dimensions to it. There's the economic dimension, political, and of course environmental. We were able to see that variation in the different speakers we had. When I came here and heard all these speakers who are like experts in these field and other fields, it really just inspired me. I'm definitely going to remember a lot of the guest speakers we had, and I'm really glad that we had that opportunity to hear from them all. We were very, very lucky to have the kind of lectures we did. Every day walking home, we'd always be like, wow, the lecture today was great. We went to real situations, for example, the Repoon Farm. The Repoon Farm is one of these small farms that's trying to get control of their water back. I've learned about how complicated some situations are how difficult it was for farmers to survive by well, getting the water for their farm, for their crops. Actually, they save a lot of energy in the farm. I think it's helpful for us to learn how to use the water in a more specific way and to recycle the water. The hike to Mano Falls, it was a lot of fun. I think as much as the educational impact and understanding where the water's going, we were able to get a really good appreciation for how beautiful the ecosystem of Hawaii is. It was really perfect actually that that day was truly rainy and it was storming down on us as we were hiking up and back down and as we went back into Manoa, all of us gained from that day the value of where the water comes from. It was just a really eye-opening field trip from the educational side and it was also a lot of fun and I think that's what really made an impact. I think that the group work and activities were the best parts of the institute because it gave us a chance to see what exactly we could learn about ourselves as leaders and as people. I think the design of the learning experience was a really good balance. Every day we knew we'd be doing something fun, we knew we'd be learning something really interesting, and we knew that we'd be able to put the leadership skills we'd learned from before into use. With that balance of, you know, you bond over a hike, you bond over a leadership challenge, you discuss a lecture, really helped us to become one group taking this global issue and trying to narrow it down to something attainable and feasible that you can actually impact in your community has been a major focus. Our final project is about reducing the bottled water in our school. 
and we'll make it bigger step by step. We think we need a cultural change and we focus on water conservation as our idea. So what we're doing is having an educational water week at our school where we discuss the problem and we look at the local and the global impacts of the water problem, essentially what we've looked at in SGLI. So we think we can start with the Cary Academy community, move to the community of Cary and it'll hopefully grow from there. Our proposal is about the river pollution. The river is just alongside our community and it's not far from our school. The reason why the river is polluted is because of the free markets alongside the river and the residents just throw the rubbish away alongside the rivers. We may do some lectures in the community to raise the awareness and we will try to make the store owners and the residents make an agreement. The Punahou group has decided to hopefully work with the Habitat for Humanity and as they build a house for a family, we hope to convince them to install water efficient appliances. We also hope to use that house as a model to educate the larger community about the water issue of efficiency. I would personally define leadership as the ability to unite all kinds of different people together towards a common goal. A leader must really learn to focus on his, on his visions. Only if he focus really hard on uh, what he wants to do, he can achieve this. To be a leader, it's important to be able to collaborate as well as to be convincing. The leader should know the goal uh, they wanted to achieve and have some uh, positive ideas or wonderful methods to achieve their goals. I think this has definitely changed my outlook on the world. I know so much more about issues that I would have never learned otherwise. People have to know about this, to know what they're capable of doing. China has a large population. If everybody can contribute just a little, what would it be with 1.3 billion people? What's invaluable about this process is the people it brought together. Learning about their cultures and what they have taught me about their world and about how they see leadership and how they see water issues was special for me. I think what really sticks with me is how similar everybody is. I thought that I wasn't going to be able to bond well with my Chinese roommates, but we have all the same interests, we have the same hopes for the future, and there's so much more in common with all of us and there's really that different. This program changed my life, changed my perspective of life, changed my perspective of this whole world.